Hey, Todd Berry from ToddBerry.com. Hope you're doing well as you tune into this video. I'm going to talk a little bit today really about the true aspects of how your health journey impacts your success journey. All right. So, you know, this is this is a part of Three Circles Living. And, you know, the, for those of you who haven't seen Three Circles Living, right, the, these are the three the three circles. You have your health, you have your relationships, and then you have your career, we'll call it your career, your pursuits for business, etc. how you make your living, what your major car, it could be a cause too, depending on your station in life, right? And, and so I'm not gonna go through all the insights about what happens when you get it wrong. Right now we're gonna talk specifically about the connection between health and your career. Um, obviously the health to your relationships is the next big connection that then feeds into your career. But right now we're just talking about this specific connection because it's massive and it's something that, you know, I, uh, there's a little bit more attention paid today than there used to be in companies. You know, they're starting to have wellness programs and, you know, I don't know if, if that was stemmed by a profit motivation because it costs them a lot more insurance wise to not have healthy people or if they're starting to understand, I don't dive too much into that stuff. Um, because I'm just not a heavy detail guy. I'm more of a here's what works and why it works and how it works based on my living it and teaching it for years. Um, and so there is a lot more awareness today, but I, I don't I still don't see a high based on statistics. I don't see a high commitment to it from a human perspective. Um, now, granted, the, the the pandemic has, uh, there's certainly a percentage of the population has shifted some of their, their mindset about this. Um, but in general, um, you know, it's too often the pursuits of, of the career, you know, and the time, right, career and family and who has time to take care of their health, right? I mean, isn't, isn't that a pretty normal issue? And, and so I want to help you see this in, in a different light. And this is what I call Q2, right? This is a Stephen Coveyism, um, living your life in quadrant two, which is a proactive perspective on life. And, and when you live that way, and I teach this in prioritization and time utilization, when you live in a quadrant two perspective, man, your life is different. Holy cow, is it different? I mean, it's phenomenal. It doesn't mean it doesn't, you don't have problems, you do, but man, it's a whole lot easier to deal with them. And when they pop up, they're not the same kind of problems. Generally, or generally, right? There's always outliers in every bell curve, right? Um, but you know, we have to we have to work on basic fundamentals and, and things that work. So, so here's the first thing to recognize: when you take care of the circle, and there's two parts to the circle, right? There's the physical part, and then there's the mental part. All right, that that's those two parts are very real. So you can't just do one and not the other. You've got to take care of the whole, right? Because this especially is feeding into the work. So when you take care of this, right, high energy, creative, consistent, show up consistently, such a big deal in, in your credibility and your ability to influence and the way you can build relationships and how you can lead. I mean, everything so much relies on how you consistently show up because people don't trust someone who doesn't show up the same way all the time. Um, vibrancy, clear mindedness, endurance over the long haul. There's so much more. I'm just shortcutting this. You know, six days a week, I show up at the gym. Six days a week. I mean, I might maybe I don't go to a gym every every one of those days, but I'll do an intense workout even if, if I don't go to the gym as part of my morning routine. And, and the rest of the parts of my morning routine are, you know, developing myself and um, working, putting, in, investing in my spiritual life and working on my attitude and all these other things that help me show up properly every day, regardless of how I feel when I wake up. And I, I teach this, I teach actually my specific morning routine, which is a powerhouse routine. I have a video on that. I'll, I'll, drop, a, I'll drop a link in the video in the box below in case you want to go get that. Um, it may help you because it's been phenomenal for me. It's changed my life. I've done it for you know, decades now and the fruit that it's born has been spectacular because everything I do, I play the long game. But when you play the long game properly, you get great short-term results too. Um, you just get spectacular long-term results. And so this is all part of it, right? So when you take care of yourself physically, obviously you're gonna show up, be able to show up better long run anyway in your career. But also when you take care of yourself mentally, right? When you, when you work on yourself, 
you also show up better in your career because you show up with a higher skill level, right? So that's, that's a whole and a different attitude and those are big deals. So, so first, one thing I want to just throw out there, you know, um, in, in everything you do, in every decision you make, and whether you're aware of this or not, and I teach an entire uh, pyramid of processes on this one, but every decision you ever make is actually based on your values, your principles, and your beliefs. Um, and whether you know it or not, right? So it's really good to know them. But that's just a fact. They're, they're based on that, and then that filters through your priorities, and then that filters through your goals or your cause or your purpose, and then that filters into your actions, and that filters into how you plan. That's how. That's the roadmap. And so, from a health perspective, <clears throat> and this is timely, especially, and, and this may end up being timely for a long time. You know, we we are still in in the pandemic, right? The the, the COVID arena, and. But to me, that's the little C. See, I live my health life based on the big C. You know, the, the truth is, I generally know more people with cancer than I do with COVID. I mean, that's just a fact, right? Or, or, other, or other consistent, like when the flu comes. I, you know, I, I, I know people that get the flu, but I always know more people that have cancer. And cancer has been involved in my life in many different ways my entire life. And so my, my health perspective is I know what that looks like. If, if you get cancer and it's just an awful thing, if you survive it, right? If you survive it, it still has had a massive impact on everything else you can do in your life. And, you know, from a financial perspective to a contribution perspective to how you can show up in everything you do, it is, it is, it is an intense life changer. And, and yes, good things do come out of it, I've witnessed it, um, but man, it's so hard and it's a price no one wants. And having seen it early in my life, I built my whole health perspective around my number one purpose is to operate from a health and wellness perspective in such a way that I would make myself the least likely possible, despite my genetics, which indicate I'm not least likely to get it, right? So it's about prevention and risk management, but that also is a, it's a quadrant two, it's a proactive approach that not only minimizes, right, reduces my risks of getting it, doesn't mean I won't, I could be an outlier and still get it, right? But it greatly reduces my uh, opportunity, my ability to get it, and if I did get it, I'm going to be in a much better situation to fight it. But in the meantime, everything I do that is focused in that direction wipes out practically anything else I ever would have to worry about from a health perspective, right? That, that is, you know, from a sickness perspective, right? If you focus on all the fundamentals that help you reduce risk of the big C, the little C won't even bother you. <laughs> I mean, in general, unless you're an outlier on the curve, because you'll have strong immunity, you'll be very, very healthy, you, it'd be harder for you to catch it, it will be, your body will be much stronger in battling it, right? That's just common sense. This is common sense stuff. I'm a common sense guy, right? Be, because I've seen the fruit of common sense. I don't listen to a lot of the garbage. I just operate in common sense and principles that are true, right? Values, principles, beliefs. And the beliefs, you know, I, I, there's two sets of beliefs, self-limiting beliefs and beliefs you can build on, right? And so you have to always address what your self-limiting beliefs are. That's part of the mental side of the circle, but also those beliefs that you've proved to be true, which is why I live the way I live, which is why I live three circles, which is why I live in quadrant two, which is why I, you know, live according to the, the credibility curve I teach and all the other things. And so where you generally will struggle is a couple of areas. One, the mindset, right? The mindset of getting yourself in the space of, okay, this really has to be the first thing that matters, right? I really do have to put my oxygen mask on before I try to put it on my child or, my, or the love of my life, because if I don't, I'm gonna pass out and I can't help them, right? That's a real thing. That Extrapolate that into a greater perspective. If you don't take care of you, you ain't taking care of anybody else. That's, and nobody cares how much money you're going to leave them. They want you here now. That's what they want, right? So, so that's, that's a very, very powerful perspective. You've got to get the mindset that this isn't optional. I don't wake up in the morning and judge whether or not I'll work out or go through my morning, morning routine based on how I feel. 
why? I mean, if I did that, I'd never do it or only rarely do it, right? If you only do what, what is best for you when you really feel like it, your life is going to suck, right? That's just the reality of it. And, and so you got to pick your, you got to pick your battles, but not that one. So the mindset is dominant. Do the things to take care of your health first, not optional. Second is the, what are the actions that work, right? So that, that's where a lot of people, you know, a lot of people know what to do, or maybe they know too many things to do. And so they're paralyzed by too much information, uh, diffusion of their brain. And so, you know, I, the, I have a team of people that can help you. If you need a help setting up um, the right exercise program and you want to connect with someone online, I have some incredible people that I can connect you with uh, in my team. If you want someone that can help you set up the way to eat for you, I have some incredible health coaches uh, in my team that I can share that with you. If you want uh, expertise or recommendations on supplements, I have a lot of expertise in that area. Maybe I will help you or maybe it'll be someone in my team. And then if you need help with the mental part, like your attitude and building the right skills and understanding your personality type, that's what I do, right? That's, that's what companies bring me in to do is to help their people do that. So reach out to me and I'll help you with that. But the bottom line is once you understand fully that this is true, that old cliche, that your health and your wealth and blah, 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 there's all kinds of like gimme, gimmicky stuff out there, but it's real, right? If you get this one right, it's going to magnify this over time. You've got to play the long game and this is how you do it. And that's called Quadrant 2 Living. I hope that this was helpful for you. Share it if you think it'll help someone else. And if you need to talk to me and want some insights on who to talk to about some of these things, just reach out to me and I'm happy to, uh, to send you to the right people. All right. Have a great day.